Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. As always, please turn on your closed capture, that way you can see the description and the analysis of horses as we speak. And as always, please do us a big favor and subscribe, ring the bell, please support us each and every way so we can stay on the air. And if you need to get a hold of me to buy our tip sheets or a shirt, or you just want to chit chat, email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Well, of course, it's Monday evening, and we're here to get ahead of the next weekend's races. So we're down uh, at Oaklawn Park. There's two stake races down there. The Grade 3 uh, Essex Handicap, which we're doing right here, right now. Race number 9 is for 4-year-olds and up for $500,000 shackles. A, hundred, uh, uh, a mile and 16, a field of 8. Very nice field, and the old man is back. The rated R superstar. And of course, I'm being a homer here, right? I mean, the horse is nine years old, and I'm going to take him, as always. And of course, you know, you have national trainers in the race, Big Head Brad Cox and all his merry horses are in the race, you know, because it's 500000 But let's dial into this analysis in the Essex Handicap um, on ninth race at Oakland Park on a mile and 16, $500,000. The number one, well, here's your big first Big head trainer, the Dorio, who's not my favorite anymore. Uh, he's got Thomas Shelby. Well, I'm going to tell you, though, you know, the Dorio being your favorite or not, Mr. Mister Speed King, the number one horse, Thomas Shelby, is just flat out fast. This horse departs and departs in a hurry. And the mere fact that he's on the rail today uh, and saving ground might spell trouble in bedrock. Well, I tell you, Thomas Shelby has 26 starts and 10 of them are wins. No, you didn't just say it. Yeah, he's won 10 from 26, ran uh, second four times and five third for a half a million dollars. You can't shake a stick at that. And Dodorio is our trainer. And again, I'm kind of souring on Mr. Dodorio. I've gotten some information that is very, very disturbing. You know, he's getting hit with these different violations. And again, man, I, I'm just not into that stuff. I just say play a bump board. So, again, but it doesn't take away from the accomplishments and the uh, athleticism of the equine horse. And Thomas Shelby should be considered. I mean, the horse is by curling. This six-year-old on a back end by Giant Causeway just flat out runs. So, Thomas Shelby obviously is a win contender in here and deserves every right to go gate to wire and is a very, very strong contender in here for sure at 7-2 to two, to Dorio with David Cohen in the Horse is going to save ground, and his speed has always been king. Thomas Shelby is a very strong, strong contender in this spot. The number two horse, title ready. Well, I don't know how ready the title is, but he's going to have to step up and step up big time. This seven-year-old title ready has 29 starts, five wins, six seconds, and five thirds. That's Dallas Stewart doing the signal calling and the conditionings, right? But I'm telling you now, there's more than ready, Colt, or horse, hey. Hey, going to have to step it up if you want to deal with horses like uh, Thomas Shelby, Plainsman, and a, a flat out um, uh, Plainsman and Warriors charge. So the number two horse appears to me to be overmatched. Now, if you're playing tries and exactors and supers, I would use him in the third and fourth spot because it's going to be a huge price, and he should be. Title ready is overmatched in this spot. You can throw him out quick, fast, and what? In a hurry. You heard it here first. Well, here's the number three horse, Warriors Charge, trained by who? The untouchable barn of Brad Cox. Again, here we go again. These are big head horses, big head trainers. It's always the same characters, right? 500,000 of these show up, right? And I get it. And, of course, Warriors Charge has 21 starts, 6 wins, 4 seconds, and 4 thirds for a cool 1.1 million. And it's Brad Cox and all his merry horses, right? Of course the horse is a contender. You don't need me to tell you that. He beat up on allowance horses on the 28th of January right here at Oakland. Beautiful speed figure now stepping into a grade three, trying to take all the money, okay? Hey, the power, uh, the, the balance of power is not always equal, right? And it's usually not the case in these here races, you know? So again, another big head trainer, and he has two in here. He has the number 
uh, three horse who we're talking about who's obviously a contender in the number three Warriors chart as well as the Doriel horse the number one Thomas Shelby I mean you don't need me to give you those two horses so again the Warriors charge obviously is going to get bet and get bet heavily why the horse wins a lot of races and it's a national trainer okay it's 500,000 and flow is in the yard so they come to play right why they want the shackles I get it right but as a fan yeah, not so much. So again, I'm going to acknowledge and handicap the race accordingly. And of course, Warriors Charge is a strong, strong contender in here, as well as the number one, Thomas Shelby. You can't deny that. You may not want to play him, Warriors Charge, but he is a contender and likely winner in the race. The number four horse Plainsman. Well, this horse Plainsman, trained by who? Brad Cox and all his big head horses. Right? So Brad has two in here, the number three, Warriors Charge, and the number four, Plainsman, who has Joel Rosario in the yard. The horse has won nine of 28 starts, six seconds and five thirds for 1.2 million. The rich keeps getting what? Richer. So the three and four, Brad Cox and all his merry horses, they're here to take down the what? $500,000. He's two to one on the morning line, the number four plainsman. You don't need me to explain to you. He's by flatter. You got Rosario. His speed figures are off the chain. He just beat out Thomas Shelby in the race. So obviously, the race has to go through three horses. The number one, the Dorio's horse, Thomas Shelby, seven to two. The number three horse, Warriors Charge, Brad Cox, seven to two. And the plainsman, with Joel Rosario, Brad Cox, two to one. So the three, four, the one, three, and four are obviously the horses to beat. Okay? You don't need me to give you those horses. You know that already. Okay? I'm just tired of looking at them. I'm tired. I want to see other people play for power, you know, as well. But again, Plainsman has every right to run and run big here. Okay? For sure. The number five horse appears to be overmatched to me, popular kid, but I would not throw this horse out at six to one underneath if you're playing tries and exactor. I like him in that respect. I mean, here's an eight-year-old with 63 starts and 15 of them are wins. No, you didn't just say the old man had 63 starts. Oh, you, they keep counting us out, old men. Boy, popular kid is the eight-year-old with 60. See, I like that, right? That somehow Davis, right, the trainer here, and I don't know if he's always had the horse, but Sean Davis has managed to keep popular kid healthy at eight, which we never see, right? See, flatline. Okay, talented, and we can't find him with a search warrant. Popular, I'm sorry. Popular kid, 63 starts, 15 wins, 9 seconds, and 6 thirds, right? And I mean, that's the, that's the sport. That's the fan. That's, wow, how could you not root for a horse like that, right? And uh, he's got his races spaced out uh, 30 days, 85 days, 35. That's beautiful. You're giving him time to recover. He's an old man like me. But again, popular kid has won 15 of 63 starts. I like it. And again, you know, I mean, his speed figures are just as comparable as Plainsman and Thomas Shelby. And he comes out of the same race and he ran third behind him at a cool 42 to 1. So again, horse is only 6 to 1 in here. Um, but popular kid should be used underneath for sure. No, they didn't bring my horse back out. They brought my horse back out. They brought my, see, and again, this is the fan in me. I already did the handicapping part. Of course, Thomas Shelby is a, a runner, the number one. Of course, Warriors Charge is a runner. Of course, Plainsman is a runner. But forget all of them. The number six horse, this is what I love about this game. Rated R Superstar. Y'all know we cashed a big ticket on the 15th of January, which was my baby's birthday, Shay's birthday, at 25 to 1. And I tell you, Mr. David Kerbera cut the corner and got up my head. Right? I love this horse, Rated R Superstar. And if you thought I was going nuts about popular kid being eight, well, I tell you, he's a youngster compared to Rated R Superstar. Rated R Superstar is nine years old, got 58 starts, 10 wins, 10 seconds, and 8 thirds for $1.28 million. I mean, 
That's our game. That's our game right there. What? Where a horse and a small-time owner and trainer gets a horse, they do the right thing by the equine animal, and the horse keeps racing. Not that they get a flight line and they put the horse away for 88 days or two, 50, 150 days. And we never get to see them. And after they win five or six races and they got only eight races, see authentic behind me, they put them in the breeding shed. Greed. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I, you know, I'm sorry. But rated R, the old rated R superstar by Kodak Cowboy. The breeding is Kodak Cowboy on the back end by Cold Case. Cabrera just doing his thing with this horse, right? And again, I love this horse. This is the fan in me, right? Everybody knows I love rated R superstar. Um... The nine-year-old, I mean, I must have cashed a ticket every time he's run. Gone all the way back to his five-year-old season. And I, I love the name. I love the horse. He tries hard each and every time. He comes running each and every time. He's been beat by the favorites in here. Plainsman, Thomas, Shelby, popular kid, and probably Warriors Charge. Okay, I get it. I could bet a five to two any time. But rated R superstars eight to one here. I uh, ran uh, fifth by two in the Razorback, and again he's coming back here off of a 35-day layoff, and he's going to be my top pick because he's one of my uh, stable horses and one of my favorite horses. And this is what we do to support the game to the minorities, right? And again, I like rated R superstars. He up against it. The old men are never up against it. We show up each and every day. We do it honestly and earnestly, right? And we'll get by them. We like our rated superstar. Obviously, it'll be our top pick for sure. The number seven, Bureau Lam <laughs> Laminaire. Blue Lemon. Well, I love this horse, too. This horse right here will be my third pick, the number seven horse. 19 starts, four wins, nine seconds, and four thirds. A pretty much of a bridesmaid. But Brissett is very, very hot down there. Got Rattan, uh, Santana up, coming off of a nine, um, a 91 day layoff. And of course, uh, ran third behind Thomas Shelby. What else is new? And again, I think the horse should be fresh fit, okay? The number three, Bureau. Uh, Liminar will be our third pick for sure. The number eight horse, I like this horse a whole, whole bunch. Hannah Lace uh, Han, uh, Houdini. Hannah Lace Houdini, the number eight horse, was claimed three back by Mike Maker for 50000 and we know what Mike does when he claims horses. Well, Hannah Lace uh, Houdini has 33 starts, five wins, eight seconds, and four thirds. Mike has his horse, has only run second with him each time that he's had him. I know Mike is looking for a, a win with this horse, but Mike Maker is the only one that can claim a horse for 50000 and have him in a grade three race for 500000 and has a legitimate shot. So Hannah Lee's, uh, Hannah Lee's um, uh, Houdini will be my second pick. I like the eight horse and he's 10 to one. So all my picks in here are all value, right? I know about the big three horses in here, the one, three, and four. I get it. I'm not excited. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to pick, those are your eight in the grade three race, ninth race at Oakland Park, the Essex Handicap Model 16 for four-year-olds and up for 500000 I get it. Brad Cox has two in here, Warriors Charge, Plainsman, five to two, two to one, and of course the Dorio, who I'm not supporting anymore, Thomas Shelby, who won. So one, three, and four are obviously the horses to beat. What else is new? I'm going to put my horse... Rated R Superstar, the fan in me, on top. And I want Mike Maker's horse, uh, Hannah Lace um, Houdini, as second, number eight. So it's going to be six, eight, and seven, the brew horse. Okay? So respectfully, I got eight to one, ten to one, and eight to one. Don't be mad at me. I'm taking the value. I can bet a five to two. And I'm tired of seeing the national trainer show up and taking all the money with the national jocks, right? And again, I'm not taking them in here. I'm taking a ring at all. Superstar. Y'all know how much I love the old man. And of course, again, Hannah Lace um, uh, Houdini, number eight, is our second pick. And the Brew Horse is our uh, third pick, the seven. So it's six, eight, 
seven in that order. We want to run over the big head trainer, Brad Cox and Dodorio. Can't wait to run him over with Thomas Shelby. They're talented and obviously the horses to beat. We like six, eight, seven, y'all. I'm sorry for the, you know, sideways stuff and going off. But again, we got to somehow level the playing field and have the shift of power here. Okay. I like rated R superstar, the old man, which is really what the game is all about, right? Nine years old and healthy. Talk to y'all real soon. Stay classy in everything you do. And if they go low, you go high. You keep it 100. My name is Wayne Bolden. I approve this message. This rated R superstar may run by him. I'll have a few dollars on him. Stay classy, y'all.